So it is that time of the year again. The Jerusalem Film Festival is back. And over the next week, 180 films from both established and independent creators from all over the world will be available for your viewing pleasure. Just check out the trailer to this up-and-coming film called Family or Mishpacha, and I'm sure all you film buffs out there will start salivating. Joining me now in the studio to tell us more about the Jerusalem Film Festival is Ron Fogel, a film critic and lecturer. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. So let's start with the film we just saw. That was called Mishpacha, and there's a lot going on in that trailer. What can you tell us about the film? Well, this is the f uh, third feature by Roni Kedar, who is called now the queen of independent Israeli cinema, you can say. All right. And uh, she always goes around telling dark comedies, dark stories. This is the story about a girl who actually murders her whole family and then has, wants to talk about it with her shrink. So this is a strange opening to the film. It's not for everyone's taste, but this is a good example of the variety of Israeli cinema nowadays. You have hits like, I won't say, so-so of blockbusters, and you have independent cinema, and you have female directors which is something quite new in the Israeli se film scene. Okay. And Roni Kedar is a, a good example of this uh, new wave of Israeli female directors and Israeli independent cinema, which is quite popular and very successful in the 21st century. So you're talking about, about you know, this success of independent cinema in Israel. Are we going to be seeing a lot of Israeli uh, directors at the Jerusalem Film Festival, or is it, is it a real mix? Well, this is... There are seven films in the Israeli competition, which is a short uh, chapter of all the 100 films, as you have mentioned. And uh, there are some documentary Israeli films, but most of the focus is about the international scene okay. in the festival. There is a, a retrospective for the French film uh, director Jean-Pierre Malville. There is the new Sofia Coppola film with uh, uh, Nicole Kidman, Be Gilded and uh, the movie 1945, which is in West, East European, Western, and all sorts of, of interest There's in something films. for everybody. Yes. There's absolutely something for everybody. Yes. So I see, okay, right now I see clips from a different film. Scaffolding. Scaffolding. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. I tell you, Scaffolding, I saw the world premiere of the, this Israeli film mm. by Matan Yair in uh, the Cannes Film Festival last month. It's one of the best films I saw in the festival. Really? Not only Israeli, but international. Is it yes. All right. Matania was is actually a school teacher, and the leading actor Asher, who plays a guy who works in the, his father's construction company, is actually a construction worker with his father's company. Okay. So it's a real story with a non with non actors, which is also always makes the film very authentic. Sure. And is the storyline true to life as well then, or is it's it? It's almost kind of autobiographical by the director. Wow. I interviewed him in Cannes, and he said it's almost his life story. He, he didn't uh, feel sure until death if he should play the teacher, and he decided to give it to Ami Smolarchik. But Asher, who's a non-actor, is the real surprise of the film. He really puts out a great show, a great performance. He's a troubled kid in high school. That's his part. He gets uh, with, a, with some sort of relations with his teacher, who understand that in Asher there is more than meets the eye. Mm -hmm. And uh, then something happens with the teacher, and Usher is very frustrated and doesn't, he doesn't find comfort in his work or his okay. father or his friends. It's a very so, interesting story. So, I mean, this sounds like it's, we're having kind of like this renaissance of Israeli film at the moment. You can say the 21st century is the renaissance of Israeli film uh, with an emphasis of the individual. Not about the big issues, the country, the sikhsukh, and everything, right. but about local subject and people in their Which own environment. Which I think is almost relatable to a wider audience, really. Usually, yes. Usually, typically. Yes. 
All right, well, I can't wait to see these films and pretty much anything else that I have time for at the Jerusalem Festival. Thank you so much for coming in, Ron Thank Fogel. you very much. Thank you.